yake kwa kuchagua channel yetu ya Momo Gusi TV ili uwe wa kwanza kutazama vipindi vyetu upindi tunapokuja hewani subscribe like and comment na usikose kuuza alama ya kengele Karibu mwa Mugusi TV Engoro yo Mugusi sina mpinzo msamaji wetu Haroninga ya Mamugu City TV Ankara ya Mamugu City pamoja na Katonzo wa Television uh, siku ya leo nimeweza kufika uh, niko kwenye hospitali ya Christ Marian Hospital mwana ambapo nimemtembelea mgonjwa mmoja uh, ambaye ni mgonjwa sana ambaye wako hapa na dada yake nataka nimpatie nafasi hii akapate kutujulisha majina yake anaitwa nani na kisha baadaye watueleze mawili matatu karibu sana dada yangu wewe uko majina yako waitwa nani kwa majina naitwa Jane Adhiamba Beri. Yes. Nyumbani kwetu ni Mfangano Highland. Yes. Lakini kwa saizi tunaishi hapa kesi. Kwa uso ya ugonjwa ya mdugu yangu, yes. mwenye nilikuwa nikiambiwa most of the time akigonjeka huwa nilikuwa nikimwambia nikiambiwa na madaktari nimlete General Hospital. Yes. Ndio saa ilifanya ni kama penye nilikuwa naishi nikuje karibu na hospitali. Which size nimekuwa nikizunguka kwa hospitali. Hapo mwanzo nilianzia Migori. Ndugu yangu alikuwa akianza kuugua 2018. 2018 yes, but it wasn't that serious. So nilichukua tu slightly. Uh, nilikuwa nikimnunulia tu painkillers, tunaenda kwa pharmacy, tunamnunulia painkillers. I didn't know that in some some time in life it it was it will was an up. Sasa by the by the year 2021 December nilifika time yenye akienda kwa choo ni damu tu ndio ilikuwa inatoka. Akijipanguza tishu ni damu, akiangalia longi ni damu. Sasa ikanibidi nimpeleke General Nini Hospital ya Migori district of which venye tuliingia hapo hakuna the first thing yenye niliambiwa venye tulifika hapo damu ilikuwa chini akaongezwa damu bag moja kisha baadaye wakaniambia wanataka picha ya colonoscopy it was worth 20000 and by that time i could not even afford to pay the hospital bill so baadaye he was discharged 
at that moment the bill iliku, ilikuwa ni 3000 mm. nilitafuta kwa marafiki nikapata mm. being that at home i'm the mother of michael who is sick mm. and at the same time i'm the father mm. my mother passed away some days back I was brought up in a polygamous home and my mom separated with my dad. Mm -hmm. So by the time she died, she was buried back at home and mamangu mkambo mwenye ako wapo nyumbani mamu wakambo alitufukuza nyumbani. Sasa kwa sahi, I'm the mother and I'm the father. And on my side, I'm a single mother of one daughter which is, who is now five years old. So from that moment, iliamua kuchukua maiko la kama mtoto wangu, sio ndugu yangu tena. So, but I could talk up hospital in December. Nilienrudi ipe kwenye naishi rongo. Badai, tukakaka. And then after some, like two weeks, after the discharge from Migori Hospital, alipata accident. That was around 10 or 27th of December, same year. Akarudishwa tena Migori at around 11 p.m. Tena wakasema damu imeenda chini. Hakuna kitonye nigefanya wakamweka tena kwa ward. Hapo tena bada kweka kwa ward kitu wale shugulika ya kwanza walisema damu iko chini. Wakwa muongeza tena bugs mbili. And the challenge in an experience kwa hii gunjo ya damu Mimi ni mtu moja tu venye niko hivi. I don't have stable relatives that can support me. I have to look for friends and uh, maybe to okay, to good wishes maybe mwenye wananiza nisaidia ku donate ju hospital huwa tunaambiwa damu, ailipwi damu inaenda na damu. So after mimi mwenyewe nime donate like 3 times mpaka saa hii huwa nikitembea nasikia kama niko weak sana. So umekuwa ukidonate damu yako like 3 times. Yeah, yeah, nime donate 3 times from the time alianza kuugua. Ukiangalia mm -hmm. mkono wangu utaona yes. vijipenye midungwa dungwa mm -hmm. nikidonate. Yes. Sa venye tulitoka Migori for the second time yes. nilipeleka tulirudi nirongo na ndugu yangu. Mm -hmm. And then baadaye after some short period, akanza kugonjeka tena. Mm -hmm. Kabidi tena ni kaikai, ni mrudishe tena migori. Kuenda migori, for the third time now, wali mungeza damu tena. Shida ilikuwa tu ni damu, waka mungeza bugs tano. So, shida ilikuwa tu ni damu tu inaisha? Tu. Damu inaisha kwa mwili, and then akienda for long call, kuna vitu zimemeamea hapo, mm -hmm. hakejipanguza, nasike uchungu, mm -hmm. mara kimaliza, kuenda cho, hakiangalia hapo kwa flow, kuna stains of blood. Mm -hmm. So alikuwa kiniambea hivo, but being that ye ni kijana na miss jana akwa nataka kunionyesha, nione. Yes. Saa badai kabidi, mm -hmm. ni mulize tu pole pole kwa nika mungulesha venye, neza mungulesha mtoto wangu. Kwa mungulesa bro, usiogope, mimi ndio mama yako, tena mimi ndio baba yako. Ningependa kuona hayo hizo vitu. Yes akanionyesha kweli venye niliangalia nikapata kuna vitu hapo sasa nilikuwa nikimpeleka tu maybe kwa pharmacy anadungwa dawa ya antibiotic mm -hmm. na nula ni painkillers kama diclofenac yes. of which after 2 days imesha kwa mwili mm -hmm. tena anaanza kugonjeka mm -hmm. Alika hivo, from that December 2021 hivo, mm -hmm. by February nilirudi hospitali. Yes. Damu imeisha tena. Mm -hmm. Tukarudi hapo. Mm -hmm. Tukakaa hospitali, paka some, nini around 15th March. Yes. Hakapewa discharge. Bill ilikuwa mingi sana. Mm -hmm. I still had to look for other friends to help me. Nimeomba pesa kwa marafiki mpaka saa hii, wengine wa many block. Wengine wataki kuzona hata koli yangu. Mm -hmm. I've got some few friends. You wanaona ni kama this, nowadays nimekua con lady. Mm -hmm. Wanashindo, sasa yu ni ugonjwa gani yenye after two months, nitoa kusiptali. After two months, unaomba pesa. Mm -hmm. Sasa wanaona ni kama mi maybe ni con lady na wadanganya. But in real sense, kwa wenye weneza muona kwa, kwa kamera, mm -hmm. si uongo. Mm -hmm. Nimepitia shida mingi sana mpaka hata saa hizi venye ni kwa Mtoto wangu ni meaika tu mali kwa kazi wangu juu. Siezi manage, siezi kana yeye, na siezi angalia ndugu yangu. Kwa nyumba mi ni merend, mi ndo nilipe, mi nitafute chakula. Na kidogo ni kospitali, kidogo ni kwa, kwa, kwa nyumba. Sasa singe weza kumanage. Ya. Sasa ikabidi tu, ni, sasa ni patene mtoto kwa kazi wangu. Ni kaya na ni kiangalia ndugu yangu hivi tu. Aya. Sasa bada kutoka migori, the main thing when li wali niambia ni mpeleke kolonoscopy, mm -hmm. which is 20,000. Yes. Sikuwa, singeza kwa afford yo pesa. Juhata bill wana, na shindwa kulipa, mpaka niombe marafiki. 
Haya sasa ikabidi nitoke huko Migori venye walikuwa kiniambia mpeleke General Hospital Kisi. General Hospital Kisi. Ilifika time yes. nikakuja nikatafuta nyumba sasa Kisi sababu nipeleke tu ndugu yangu ni General ya Kisi. Yes. Sasa marafiki nilichukua ndugu yangu na mtoto wangu nikakuja Kisi. Yes. Kisi kwa nyumba hata sina chochote juu kuna tu marafiki yangu nilichukua vitu zangu kwa nikaweka kwake juu singe afford kubeba mm-hmm. juu na, na sikuwa nimejua ni wapi ninaenda na nitaishi namna gani mpaka sasa hii tukiongea hata vitu zangu mm-hmm. sijaleta kisi mm-hmm. niko tu kitu najua yenye niko nao ni ndugu yangu we seek na mtoto wangu mm-hmm. those are the only things that i have in my life mm-hmm. sasa venye nilitoka rongo nikakuja kisi venye nilikuja kisi nika nikaishi kisi ataronda sasa tuko 2022 after february ni 2022 aliletwa nani alito alipewa discharge migori akakuja tukaka rongo for some time by around jula nini may bro aligonjeka sana sasa hakuna kitu ningefanya ikabidi tu nivumilie nivumilie watu wakaniambia brother yangu ni mgonjwa ina form peleke hospitali nikakaka juu sikuwa na pesa na bado tena nilikuwa mgeni hapa kisi hakuna mwenye ananijua language tena ni tofauti sasa kuongea ilikuwa ni shida at around july nikatoa ndugu yangu nyumbani kwa nyumba nikampeleka sasa general venye niliingia general hata na sasa walianza kunigombanisha wakasema aka waliniuliza kama i'm using my senses fully mm-hmm. naweza kaje na mgonjwa kama huyu kwa nyumba nilikuwa mm-hmm. nataka kufe kwa nyumba nika nilinyamaza nilitulia tu jo hakuna kitu ningewaambia juu kulingana na shida zangu kila mara ndikifikiria kumpeleka hospitali nafikiraga tu nitakuwa mauko mm-hmm. venye nilienda general around july yes. nilimadmit around 13th at uh, 13th of july that was last year 2022 yes. Libidi after af, baada ya kupewa discharge alikaa tena three weeks mm-hmm. after discharge ju pesa ilitoka ikiwa mingi just 11000 singeweza ku afford hiyo kulipa kabidi akaikae huko mpaka 4th of august mm-hmm. sasa nilitafuta usaidizi nikapiga marafiki hakuna mwenye angenisaidia mm-hmm. nikaenda kwa ofisi ya social mm-hmm. general hospital mm-hmm. nikawaongelesha mm-hmm. Nikawaambia mimi sasa penye nimefika sitaweza kusaidia ndugu yangu. Mimi mm. naona tu wanaendelea kukaa, wengine yes. wanaenda, mm-hmm. ya kutoa hapa. Yes. Siwezi nimtoa mm-hmm. sina hiyo pesa. Mm-hmm. Wakaniuliza waka, jina lake nikawaeleza kwa word gani nikawaeleza wakaenda huko wakamtembelea. Baada ya kumtembelea waleniambia ni kwe patient wata process wa, waone ni vile watazamsaidia atoke huko. Lakini shida yenye niko nayo hata kuma alipewa discharge July at around 20th na akatoka August around 4th already damu ilikuwa imeisha tena ndio alikuwa hospitali sana in two weeks damu inaisha hata akiwa hapo walimwongeza vaccine damu ilikuwa imeisha tena sasa wakampea okay au ndio sasa walimwev akatoka tukaenda kwa nyumba tukakaa tukakaa nyumba tunio August November November Sa, from that 
December bro tukakana eh nikatafuta pesa nikafungia watu nikatafuta pesa na mimi yani hata nikosa chakula lakini ni save pesa nikapiga card nikosa mavazi nilipie card ndoto wangu ni sahihi ya kufave yes hajai kanyaga shule hizo pin mtoto wangu sasa amefikia 5 years hajai kanyaga shule kila siku anamka asubuhi anasimama kwa mlanga anaweza mami mimi nitaenda shule lini nitamwambia mami usijali utaenda mami mbona mimi siendi shule na wengine wanaenda shule namwambia utaenda lakini sasa nikiangalia kama nilipe card mimi ni mtu mmoja nitafute chakula niko na mgonjwa kwa nyumba nilipe rent itabidi nitoka kwa nyumba nafulia watu mtoto siwezi mpeleka shule juu uniform na hapa kisi unajua most of the schools ni private mpaka nilipe school fee sasa kama nyumba nashindwa kulipa sasa zingine nadaiwa for a longer time ndio yenda shule makifikia 5 5 years ai sasa kitu inaniuma sana sasa kwa saa hii sasa by ilikuwa ni tarehe sita March yes. from December benye tulitoka around 23rd mm-hmm. tumekaka kwa nyumba mm-hmm. bro bad na anaendelea ku, kuugua acha yes. ipata nafu yes. sasa by the time nilitoka hapa mm-hmm. waliniambia wanataka nilipe mpaka December, December. nikatafuta pesa mm-hmm. nikatopa hapa di December this year mm-hmm. benye nilipa hiyo time benye nilifika hapa tena kwenda kwa NHIF office wakaniambia still you have to top up mpaka march mm-hmm. sajeri unaweza fanya mm-hmm. in a span of one year so mm-hmm. march to march yes. kabidi tena ni tafute pesa mm-hmm. nilienda kwa nyumba nikauza gasi yangu mm-hmm. ili nipate tu hiyo pesa hiyo yes. pesa hiyo gasi nilipa juu pia walikuwa nataka sikuwa si nimepiga hiyo picha ya colonoscopy mm-hmm. Na walikuwa nataka tena ultrasound pelvic abdominal ultrasound scan ndio waangalie kama kuna shida tena mahali wakaangalia kidney siju nini nini baadaye baadaye waliniambia kuna shida yenye imeonekana hapo wanataka tu ile picha colonoscopy ndio inaonyesha kila kitu sasa hiyo pesa sioni penye nitapata waliniambia ni 21500 sasa hii kwenye mmefikia sasa hii so wamesema ni hiyo 21000 ambao wanataka aende kufanyiwa uh, kupigwa hiyo picha. Yeah, walisema ni 21,500. And from the time tuliingia hapo on 6th wamemwekea bag stano ya damu na every bag ni 1500 ya screening. Lazima mimi ndo nitafute hiyo pesa. Nimetafuta marafiki wanisaidie ku donate ni wawili tu ndo nimepata walinikataza mimi siwezi donate ni donate December so that's easy donate sasa bado 3 months zijapita mm. and then venye tuliingia sajion wa hapa hakuwa karibu wakaita waka sajion kutoka nje galaxy hospital wakuji wa muangalie hiyo mm. tu wa kumwangalia maybe I just a visit is 2000 sasa so, waliambia ni sign hiyo form nikasema hiyo nikisign sita mileage kulipa hiyo pesa mm-hmm. sikujua hata kama hiyo siku tu hata kumwangalia mara moja bado nitalipa mm-hmm. wakaniambia hiyo hapo kwa file wameandika dr Wigare one time it means hiyo 2000 lazima nilipe mm-hmm. sasa 21500 inatakikana mm-hmm. 
7500 ya screening for five bags inatakikana mm-hmm. 2000 mm-hmm. ya doctor igari mayatoka galaxy kumwangalia just a, a day mm-hmm. inatakikana mm-hmm. sasa mimi nikijiangalia sioni penye maisha inanielekeza mm-hmm. bro pia venye alitolewa hizo hemorrhoids saa hii hakuna mimi ndio namwaga pupu kwa cho mm-hmm. na mpanguza mm-hmm. natakana nenue pampas pampas mm-hmm. easy afford na cho ikienda kwa hizo bed sheets za hospitali unaniambia lazima ni oshaoshe kwanza ndio at least wakipelea kwa mashini wapatie kazi rais mm-hmm. sasa from tuesday last week nimekuwa nikimpanguza kama mtoto mdogo sasa so, yakiteka kwenda haja kubwa venye hizo vitu zilotolewa muscles bada zija relax zinatoka tu mm-hmm. zinatoka tu all the time zina flow too excessively sasa mimi sijui kitu naweza fanya kwa saa hii mm-hmm. bado niko hapo hospitali almost sasa na one month mm-hmm. sio ni dalili ya kupata hizo pesa yes. baada ya hapa wanataka nimpeleke hiyo picha hiyo yes. pesa sina uko nikienda kwa nyumba nashindwa hata kuenda kwa nyumba kuchange nguo mm-hmm. njoo nikifika tu pale hivi yes. ni landlord tu akiniona hivi anaeleza pesa nimekaa na pesa yake saa hii almost three months mm-hmm. sijalipa lakini ona ni pesa tu ndani uliza sasa mimi nashindwa nashinda tu niko hapa nikaikae tu hapa at least nilale venye sasa hiyo kuna kitanda imebaki nalala tu hapa sijui nisiende kwa nyumba nikienda huko ni pesa tanyomba sasa mm-hmm. sitaki niende huko okay thank you so much uh, i know mungu atakupigania na mungu atatuma somalia uma so kwa jina mpenzi mtasamaji ambaye anatuangalia kwa sasa ungependa kumwambia nini kule mpenzi mtasamaji ya wale wishes wale ambao wanatangulia tu kutoka nji za nje kutoka Kenya yetu kisi kila mahali so ungependa kumwambia nini wale watu ambao wanakutazama kwa sasa <sighs> kwa marafiki wenye wananiangalia na watazamaji naomba mnisaidie i'm just 28 but nimepitia mengi sana that I should not be going through. Yes. I'm a single mother. Mm-hmm. Mimi ndo na linda mtoto wangu. Brother wangu ni mgonjwa after every two months niko hospitali. Mm-hmm. Na shida ni damu. Sasa ndio maana okay Dr. Ugari venye alikuja huko alisema mm-hmm. kulingana na venye bro anajieleza anasema tumbo ina muuma. Mm-hmm kuna labda kuna intestinal bleeding mm-hmm. ndio maana alikuwa anataka aende hiyo picha mm-hmm. waangalie kama kuna shida ndani mm-hmm. juu kama ni hizo hemorrhoids hemorrhoids iko nje kitu yenye iko nje hizi fanya mtu kumwa tumbo ni ndani sasa i'm just requesting yes. on my behalf mimi nili, nilifanya hadi form 4 mm-hmm. 2012 hakuna mm-hmm. kitu yenye sijai enda hata cause yoyote mimi niko tu i'm just battling yani maisha tu hospitali nje hospitali nje hospitali nje mtoto wangu kama mwenyezi ni saidia hata nimrudi hata uniform aende shule aende shule nitafurahi sana na shida akili yake na si kwa nini zamani nitaanza kusoma dini leo kitu wena ni uma sana sasa huwa nafikiria nitapeleka ndugu yangu hospitali ama nisomeshe mtoto Amani ni chakula ni nini mavazi ama nitafanya nini mm-hmm. the first thing yenyewe inakuja kwa mende yangu being that we are just two i'm the first born unde ndani fata mm-hmm. siezi mwacha mama mungu alikufa kitambo sana sasa sitaki kubaki peke yangu mm-hmm. akiniacha sivyo sivyo vile maisha yangu itakuwa yes. ndio maana nimeka mende yangu yote kwake hadhi mm-hmm. hata nikae hapa nilale hapa nijua njiko nikose kuchenyu nguo mm-hmm nispeleka mtoto shule nimshughulikie mm-hmm. for the well wishers yes. naomba msaidie mm-hmm. at least mimpia nisikie ra sijai yes. enjoy maisha from to same 2021 mm-hmm. na issue sipitani kwa nyumba mimi ni mgeni lakini mimi naidika na issue sipitani namba 2 mwenyewe saidia mwenyako ana end to nasemekana uchungwa mwana joe ni mzazi mm-hmm ndio mzazi wa Mike. Naomba tu wenyewe wanisaidie wanisaidie. Yes. So mzima so for now we need 21000 za colonoscopy. Alafu na 7000 za 7500 the screening you every bag ni 500 na ni 1500 na already wamemwekea tano. Na 2000 zile ambazo ulisema 2000 ya the nini Dr. Oigari mwenye alimuona wakati Sergio wa hapa akuwa karibu alikuja akamvisit. Mhm. 
So <laughs> I think you to keep it up in Africa uh, around 50,000. Around 50,000 kwa nyumba siendi, mm-hmm. siendi saki kwenu. Mtoto nimepeleka tu kwa rafiki yangu mwingine, mm-hmm. at least aniangalilie juu na iwe dha ya kisi, baridi mm-hmm. na doubt wewe mwacha na jirani. Mm-hmm. Eh lazima umweke tu mali, jumi na lala hapa kama saa hii kesi yake. Aja kubwa ikitoka lazima ni mwangalie ni mpanguze. Okay. Akienda short call hivyo kutapika ni mimi hakuna hiyo kazi hakuna mwenye atakufanyia ni mimi tu ndo naweza fanya yes. so itabidi inabidi nikae hapa mm-hmm. sasa sina mani kwa hospitali pesa inatakikana picha kwa nyumba rent sijalipa huko mtoto wangu huko mami taenda shule lini sasa i'm just here i don't know mm-hmm. what to do Alright, asante sana basi mpenzi mtazamaji wetu runinga ya Mombu City TV ya Nkolojo Mbuguzi pamoja na Cartoons Live Television. So, umesikia historia ya ndugu yetu, Fred Dada yetu amekwisha Eleza. So, it's upon you the will wishes. So, I think you can contact him kwa namba ambayo nitaeka hapo chini ya screen. Uh, unesa uh, kwa ile kidogo tu ambayo utakuwa nayo kwa ile support tu utakuwa nayo ukisema nataka kusupport mtoto wake aende shule nataka kusupport uh, section moja kama ni ya kupiga picha unasikia nayo kuna pilizi mingi ambazo wako nazo hapa they need food so they need by the way more things so kwenye namba ambayo itakuwa hapo chini ya screen you can contact us you know nitakuwa ninafuatilia uh, hii kesi nitakuwa na mafuatilia na waangalia tu uh, kila siku hapo hospitali ili tuweze kuona Mungu atawasaidia namna gani na natumai ya kwamba please mtazamaji ambaye utakuwa naangalia video hii please for your kindness you are 50 pop you are 100 pop you are 200 pop you are 500 pop you are 1000 you are 20000 you are anything by the way you have you can donate to this family to this young girl to this young boy by the way kwa sababu tuwasaidie msaidie mwenzio hangali hai na wewe mwenyewe utabarikiwa hangali hai please mtasamaji kabla shamaliza kweli na kuambia namba ya simu iko hapo chini ya simu yako ya TV yako hapo you can contact us you can talk me one on one tuweza kuona tunasaidia familia namna again wacha Mungu akubariki na Mungu abariki kazi ya mikono yako Mungu abariki kazi ya familia yako Mungu abariki familia yako zote kwa wale watu ambao wote wako nje by the way so naongea even me i'm confused because the sad story ambayo nimesikia huko by the way mwenyewe mwenyewe watu kisikiza wanasikia confused so what am i trying to say wacha Mungu akubariki Mungu abariki kazi ya mikono yako na kile kidogo tu ambacho utakuwa nacho just support where you can Mungu akubariki sana tukutane wakati mwingine lakini kabla sijamaliza kweli asijui kama ndugu yetu ana ile namba anaweza kuongea kabla niombe ndipo tutamalize my brother ni namba unaweza ambia yule mpenzi mtazamaji wetu ambaye anatuangalia unaweza mwambia nini okay kwa majina anaitwa Michael Ogola Biri yes kwe natoka na mfangano island yes. nili, n, n, nilianza kugonjeka mm-hmm. laki, lakini hatujapata usaidizi yoyote yes. kuanzia 2018 je ndio ndio mama yangu mm-hmm. na yeye ndiye anakaa baba yangu mm-hmm. huko nyumbani hakuna watu yes. sasa tunaishi tu na yeye yeye mm-hmm. ndiye ananishughulikia mm-hmm. kila kitu yeye ndiye ananifanyia yes. manguo kila kitu mm-hmm. Sasa mimi naomba tu uh-huh. wenye wenye wanani wenye wananiona tafadhali uh-huh. naomba tukata hata kama ukua na 50 yes. unaweza ni, unaweza nisaidia nayo uh-huh. ukue hata na kitu kidogo yes. unisaidie nayo nitashukuru uh-huh. eh, kwa kwa hayo yote uh-huh. mimi nashukuru tu Mungu yes. eh, yes. nimewaachilia tu hapo uh-huh. eh, kwa sababu kwa sababu Mungu kuwa uh-huh tungepata usaidia yoyote mm-hmm. sasa naomba tu Mungu tafadhali mm-hmm. mwenye kuna kitu kidogo yes. unisaidie mm-hmm. mwenye kuna kitu kidogo yes. atutume tu hapo mm-hmm. juu umesikia hata ako na mtoto mm-hmm. kwa ukweli mm-hmm. ako na 5 years yes. na jaenda shule mm-hmm. hata akitoka nje apate watoto kwanza mm-hmm. asubuhi yende ana anamkanga tu akisikia tu watu wanaenda shule mm-hmm. ameshaenda kwa mlima mm-hmm. anaangalia watoto venye wanaenda shule anakaa hapo ukitaka kumtoa analea mm-hmm. akifika saa saba amesikia watoto wanatoka mm-hmm. ameshasimama kwa mlima mm-hmm. watoto wakirudi shule amesimama kwa mlima mm-hmm. sasa 
usaidizi ndio atuna. Mhm. Mm. Huyu dadangu yes. anafulia tu watu mangu. Yes. Ndiye apate pesa mm-hmm. anisaidie ani huku. Mm-hmm. Za zingine tunakosa hata chakula. Yes. Za zingine hata wakati tulikuja hapo kisikuishi yes. tulikuja tu ivo. Mm-hmm. Eh. Mm-hmm. Hadi tukaomba tu masufuria mm-hmm. ya kupika. Yes. Masufuria mawili tu. Mm-hmm. Ndio tulianza tu nayo maisha hapo. Yes. Hatujaenda vizuri. Mm-hmm. Tuko tu hivi tu. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sasa sasa kitu naomba yes. wenye wanania wenye wananiona mm. hata kwa umbali mm-hmm. mimi nataka tu usaidi, usaidizi wenu mm-hmm. nitashukuru yes. kwa yote mm-hmm. naomba tu mm-hmm. kwa jina la Yesu yes. amen thank you so much thank you so much mpenzi mtasamaji uh, sasa nataka tuombe kwa ajili ya kumwombea mgonjwa Mungu ammbariki Mungu amurinde na tumai mpenzi mtasamaji ambao unaangalia please do something to this family Mungu ataku saidia sana na Mungu atakuwa nawekera wakati niko kwenye hospitali ambayo inaitwa Christ Marine Hospital niko hapa uh, huko niliweza tumwa na rafiki yangu ambaye yuko kwenye nji ya Saudi Arabia ndiye aliweza kuniambia ya kwamba katonzo nataka ukimbie huko kuna mgonjwa ambaye yuko mgonjwa sana uh, ili kuweza kuwa na tutamsaidia na Mungu thank you sister for for call, for contacting me Uh, thank you so much kwa kuniambia hii historia by the way uh, is so sad lakini kwa yote natumai Mungu atafanya jambo wacha Mungu abariki wacha tuombe kisha baadaye tuondoke Unaomba tusikane mikono hivi Baba katika jina la Yesu asante mwana wa Mungu kwa sababu ya kipindi hiki Yesu Kristo ambao tumekuja angalia sasa kwa sababu ya kipindi ya uhai ambayo umetupatia kule ambayo asukipi chochote mwana wa Mungu ambaye dada yangu na ndugu yangu Yesu Kristo nimewajia mikono ndomo wako kupata kuwapigania baba mashetani ambayo yanayoku vinyao na maisha yao yakapate kushindwa katika jina la Yesu baba uponyaje uharaka chuo yake baba unaona dada yangu shida zile shida ambazo amekuwa amepitia nyingi zote shida zile ambazo zile shida ambazo amepitia Yesu Kristo wewe wetu ndio tumpangusa majuzi Mungu wangu baba yangu naomba tu uwepo wako baba yetu nguvu zako za roho mtakatifu sikaweze kuwa juu hao wote mgonjwa Yesu ni mmoja ni mkono wako akapata kupata uponyaji wa haraka na Yesu Kristo ni namba ya kwamba wote ambao tutazama video hii Yesu Kristo waguze baba Yesu Kristo wafanye jambo kwa hajiri ya watoto wako ambao wako hapa asante Mungu kwa sababu utafanya yote asante Yesu mwana utafungulia njia asante Yesu mwana utafuta majozi ambayo umekuwa kile kwa muda mwingi asante Yesu kwa sababu unachoku utafanya jambo katika hii familia ya Mungu wetu tunasema asanti kwa yote kwa mabaya kwa mabaya amen mpenzi mtazamaji wacha Mungu akubariki na kusaidie sana so namba ambayo iko hapo chini ya screen uh, ndio namba utakuwa unaongea mmoja kwa moja you contact me au uh, tuone tutasaidia hii familia itakuwa na wa visit uh, kila siku na anybody mwenye anataka anataka kufanya kitu chochote you can contact me you can call me na vika tunzu walikuwa nasema namna gani so what nini umepatikana nini ambacho akichapatikana ili tuweze kuona Mungu atafanya namna gani nasema wacha tukutane wakati mwingine na endelea kuombea familia so in this life by the way, we need just only three things we need number one prayers number two we need advice and number three we need support so kwa hiyo njia yote ambayo utakuwa na support familia utakuwa ama itakuwa ni changu la mahana mbele zake mwenye ezi Mungu langu ni tekatonzo wa katonzo na wale ambao wacha subscribe kwenye YouTube channel yangu ya Katonzo Radio Television you just subscribe kwenye Mamusi TV and Korojo Mamusi tukutane wakati mwingine Mungu awabariki asante kwa kuchagua channel yetu ya Mamusi TV ili uwe wa kwanza kutazama vipindi vyetu pindi tunapokuja hewani subscribe like and comment na usikose kuhusu alama ya kengele Karibu mwa Mugusi TV. Engoro yo Mugusi.